G'day all, it's Colin from PCTLC and thanks for joining me. Just a couple of things I wanted to discuss today and uh, the first one is um, I'll have to uh, show you here is 308 subscribers and I would like to thank each and every one of you. Uh, you know who you are. I've got uh, regular commenters on my videos and I really appreciate that. And, um, I, you know, I can remember when I only had 10 uh, subscribers, I was really excited. Uh, for some reason, 200 just went over my head. So I don't know when you're supposed to celebrate. I did 100. Um, I'm not sure if you're supposed to do every 100 or, or not, but um, that went straight over and and it's already up to 308. So to each and every, every one of you, thank you for subscribing. And it's really appreciated. And I'm hope I'm bringing you good content and you're enjoying it. That's the whole idea of it. Um, I have a passion for Linux and have a passion for just sharing with people what I know. And I don't know everything. There's so many more people out there that know so much more than me. Um, but I just like to share my experiences um, because I think people can benefit from it. So that's the whole reason I do this. And uh, to see 308 subscribers, I'm just excited over that. I think it's great. And I would like to um, also say thank you to Rocco, Big Daddy, Big Daddy Linux. Um, he gave me a, a shout out a couple of times. I've helped him out with a couple of videos and he's uh, mentioned that. So that probably help some people feed my way um, so um, I think that's just great thank you Rocco I really appreciate it um, and also Linux Quest Rob at Linux Quest he done a really nice couple of shout outs last week uh, towards me and also Red Robbo's work workshop um, so Rob thank you very much really appreciate it um, I've always watched you and Rocco you and Big Daddy Linux from the start, you guys are awesome, and the guys who have taken over um, Destination Linux, they're now awesome as well. Rob's still awesome. He's he's starting to be a bit more active on on YouTube, and I know he's been busy with work, so uh, that can't be easy. So thank you very much to those two guys. They're great. And also, I'd like to thank uh, Total OS Today, Toss at Total OS Today. He's a brave man. He lets me come and chat with him on uh, on his Friday night, which is my Saturday morning. <laughs> so anyone that has me on has got to be pretty brave. <laughs> so we have a lot of fun there, and we have a lot of fun on uh, Big Daddy Linux Live as well. And Rocco, brave man as well, lets me go on there and chat as well. So um, just as well there's a lot of people there, otherwise you probably wouldn't be able to shut me up. <laughs> so... Um, Yep, I think that's absolutely awesome. I just wanted to also explain a couple of things that's going on with my channel at the moment. I have four computers here. Um, sometimes I get different results with different computers um, on different hardware, on real hardware. And all my videos are done on most of my, I'm, pr I'm pretty sure most of them are done on, on real hardware. And... Um, you know, I get uh, Ubuntu Mate, for example, um, I had running on my NUC, it was fine. I had it running on my Toshiba, um, it was acting up. So, um, you know, it just goes to show um, hardware is all the difference. It just depends what hardware you got and, and how a uh, operating system or a distro reacts to it. So there's just no telling when something may work or may not work so um, to do tutorials I believe um, probably VirtualBox is a better way to go although I've done a lot of covered a lot of tutorials already so I'd like to do a lot of look around so VirtualBox is um, probably the best way to go for that um, so it's probably it's a stable environment more than likely I would say it's a stable environment, I'd have to think. And uh, if I think 
if anybody requests they'd like to see it on real hardware or I think it warrants to be on real hardware, then I think um, then I've got the uh, the hardware here to do that. So um, so that's another thing. Uh, my NUC has 32 gigabytes of memory. Um, it's a bit of a powerhouse. It's an i7-6770, I think it was. Uh, so um, it's got a bit of power behind it with an M.2 SSD hard drive. So um, doing VirtualBox on that should be a breeze. So um, And I should get pretty good reactions out of VirtualBox on a machine like that. So that's another reason why I want to do that. It should sort of just help me... Um, um, get through videos a bit quicker, um, maybe, I hope, um, given that time permits as well, which is another thing. Um, now, the other thing is I want to do some... I've got uh, one uh, a friend and a family member who is asking me how to install Windows 10, so they just want to know a little bit more about it. So I'm going to do some Windows 10 videos. Um, and as my name suggests, um, PC TLC, it's PC Tender Loving Care. So um, that was the whole idea of it. So really, at the end of the day, it doesn't matter what you're running. As long as um, we can get you running and you're enjoying your operating system, that's all I care about. It doesn't matter what platform you're using. At the end of the day, I have helped fix Macs as well. Um, not that I'm up to speed a lot with Mac, so I sort of just get my way through it and do a lot of search, Google searching when I'm doing that. Um, but uh, that's that's what I want to do, some Windows 10 videos. I'll show you how to install it, how to set it up, how to install applications like we do in Linux through Chocolatey. So you only need to go to one website, and once you know that website, that's it. You don't need to go anywhere else. You don't get all these um, search bars and stuff that uh, all these extras that they put on your web browser and all that. None of that nonsense. That doesn't happen when you install packages like that in Windows 10. So at the end of the day, Linux is my passion, but I, I do want to sort of uh, cover a lot of bases anyway. So you might find those interesting. But um, uh, there's a reason for doing those anyway. So... Um, that, and, that, and that's one of the main reasons I will do it. I don't really run Windows anywhere here. I've got one laptop with Windows on it that I may need for Apple iPhones that my daughter's got or some in-laws have and they come around and ask for help. I just need that iTunes or something on a Windows machine. Um, you you got to have it. You just cannot go without it. Um, otherwise, it just makes your life a misery. <laughs> <laughs> so <clears throat> that's where I'm heading. Now, the other thing that I will be doing is I tried recording my Arco Linux, uh, Big Daddy Linux Live Challenge. However, um, Simple Screen Recorder is recording the mouse and the audio, and that's it. The rest of the desktop stays static. It doesn't record any windows opening, any pop-outs, anything like that. Uh, so I'm not sure whether I'm missing a codec or what it is. So um, it was just a look around, so it's no problem. What I'm going to do with that is I'm going to show you how I installed that on the laptop in VirtualBox. So the process is, is exactly the same. There's no difference. So I've already done it on real hardware, and I'll record it in VirtualBox because I know... What I do on VirtualBox would be exactly the same as I do on real hardware. Not a problem. So I'll take you through that, what I'm doing. And I might just pursue Arco Linux a little bit more and see um, how far I can push it and whether I can um, set myself up to maybe doing a Arch install the Arch way. I'm not sure. I've tried it a couple of times. I've almost got close. Um, so close, but so far away. <laughs> so... So that's where I'm at with my channel at the moment, and uh, I've just got a. I'm going to be installing probably Linux Mint on this machine here, which is my Intel NUC. Um, so um, I'll probably record that install, and 
maybe show you my the way I set it up and I will also show you how I set up my virtual box and how we can get good communication going between host and guest um, that can be a little bit tricky in itself um, but once you've got it set up it can be awesome so um, <clears throat> that's where I'm heading at the moment so yeah i just thought i would bring people up to speed i just want to make a few little changes here and there um no no real major changes just virtual box the main difference um and that should be it for now so once again um i can't thank you enough all you guys who have subscribed thank you it's really appreciated and there's not enough words to say how much I can thank you for subscribing to this channel. And I can only hope that I can bring some even uh, the some uh, constant good content moving forward. Some things that you like, and um, and just all my experiences in in Linux itself, which will. Um, which I'm, I've been sharing anyway. So um, there's probably still a lot more there to show and things are changing all the time. So, um, you know, just videos on, on things that are changing and new distros and stuff can keep you busy. So I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, some of the information that I've given out and thanks for watching.